the channel everybody and welcome to another installment in my 12 and 12 series if you're new here my name is jeremy and uh, i'm attempting to play 12 courses that i've never played in 12 months this is course number eight today we're playing eagle vines golf course in napa uh, i've played uh, the course that's just on the other side over here chardonnay before but i've never played this one before so looking forward to Testing it out, seeing what kind of shape it's in. It's a beautiful looking course so far. It's uh, in the heart of wine country, so you get a lot of little vineyards and stuff along the course. So, looking forward to it, give a little review. This is my first uh, new course since uh, my Hawaii vlog. Go ahead and check those out up here. I'll leave the link, and I'll also leave a, a link to my 12 and 12 playlist if you're interested, down in the description. So, give me a like. Hit the subscribe button if you like this content, new here, and we'll take you guys along. Enjoy the day. Appreciate it. Hole number one here at Eagle Vines is a par five that kind of plays in between two lakes and just right out of the gate, start off terrible, end up topping that drive, end up pulling my three wood into the pond to the left here. Horrendous. Topped drive, topped three wood. I'm sure by now you've already clicked off the video. So after taking my drop, hitting three wood here again, make good contact, but it does start to flirt with the pond on the right hand side. It does manage to stay just short, thankfully. I have a seven iron in from here. Pull it just a little bit left and a little bit long. Long left to right downhill putt here. Give it some good speed. Just come within tap in range. All right, a bit of a tough start, tough par five. Double bogey to start it out. Coming off that double on that par five, I've got a short par three here with water to the left, so naturally I flare this out to the right. Completely missed the green, still have water behind me. Try to make a big flop shot up onto the green here. Get a little chunky nervous about the water behind but on the green have a putt for par Let's see if we can make one kind of scrambling right out of the gate I've got this really long putt here to save a par and I give it good speed just push it out a little to the right another tap in here for a bogey this time all right three over through two turn it around I was aiming a little left of the bunker there in the middle of the fairway. I definitely didn't want to go right into the vineyards, but managed to put it right into the bunker. End up making solid contact out of the fairway bunker here. Had it kind of on a really good line, but it just hits off the bank and rolls into the green side bunker here. And just splash it out up onto the green a little left of the flag have about a six footer to save a par and we're able to drain the putt all right first par of the day get those jitters out of the way get the filming hassle out of the way turn it around now hole number four is a pretty straightforward par four not a lot of trouble here hit a good drive started right in the middle and kind of leaked off to the left here in the first cut and uh don't make the cleanest contact here just hoping it gets over the ditch and it does just that yeah that shot was reminiscent of my eagle at alistair mckenzie that little chunk and run it's on the back side of the green there i didn't think it was going to make it there for a second Took a wrong turn and ended up in uh, St. Andrews. All right, that chunk and run worked out pretty good. We got our first look at a birdie here. Probably about 15 feet. Let's make one. Let's get one of these shots back. Have a great look at a birdie here, but just don't get it on the right line. Kind of overread the greens a little bit here at Eagle Vines. They were running a little slower than I was used to. All right, back to back pars. We're starting to settle in, starting to play a little better. Hole five, 
short par three, you got some trouble short in front of the green. You got a little creek that runs just short of the green here. You can pretty much miss anywhere but short. I pushed it off to the right, just on the fringe, and just make a terrible putt here. I don't do myself any favors with this putt either. Just absolutely yank it to the left. Nowhere near online. That first putt off the fringe, I, mean, I, I don't know what that was. Just came out of there hot. Should have chipped it, but I didn't have my wedge with me and didn't want to go back to the cart. Not a great start. We're sitting at plus four through five. Stepping up to this par five with an opportunity to get one back. But I end up pushing it out to the right, end up under the trees punching out with a hybrid right here trying to get it back into the fairway I managed to that do works. that I'm really long way back I debated going for it but I decided just to lay up get myself a wedge in from there I've got 105 yards here and I hit my gap wedge pured it looked great oh, oh my gosh. Oh, and ended up long oh, okay. ended up behind the green in this bush bounced it off the cart path rolled to the front of the green fringe chipping up from there and give myself about a foot foot and a half this was one of the better tee shots of the day absolutely crushed this one right down the middle and there is a bit of a speed slot on this hole kind of feeds down towards the flag here I'm left with just a wedge in and a little off balance on my follow through there pull it a little bit to the left but we're on the green we have a chance at a birdie here and just forget to hit it. Come up well short, par, and catch every bit of the cup. <laughs> Walking off the bogey. End up pulling my drive here well left. And I find some of this thick, wispy grass here just hacking out here, trying to get it up near the green. Chipping up from there, and this one kind of rolls on through the backside of the green. I'm setting up for this chip. And not real sure what this lady's doing behind me, but it definitely no, affected my shot and ended up flubbing the chip here. Got a lengthy putt, never get it high enough. So we're just tapping in here and moving on to the next hole. This course is kind of unique in that after hole eight, you drive to the other side of the property to play the remaining 10 holes. You pass this little shack where you can get a drink and a hot dog. There's also a little putting green just to the left of the tee box here at 9, which came in handy because we waited for a while on this hole. Had a good drive right down the middle here. Got 172 left of the flag. Let's put one close. Didn't get that one clean. Came up a little short right here in front of the bunker. Pace of play out here is painfully slow right now. So I'm just grinding it through a weekend round of golf. Tried to get a little too cute with the big flop shot. Oh well. Let's make a long putt. I did not realize that was a par five. I thought I had a bogey. Well, I got a par. Stepping up here to hole number 10, I really could not figure out which way this fairway was going. So I just aimed to the left, hoping for the best. I have no idea where the fairway goes. Course knowledge. Fortunately, it did go to the left. I actually managed to hit a fairly decent drive and smoke this four wood and it didn't cut was left in the trees here and actually hosled one off to the right a little bit make a nice little chip there and does run right past the hole to just a little one-handed tap in range this is another hole that's a little bit visually challenging so it looks like you want to go more to the left but you actually want to favor a little bit to the right but I just push it out a little too much right end up catching this one a little heavy trying to get it back into play and from there I just absolutely hit this one off the toe 
ends up well right of the green down in this big ditch you can't even see me down there way below the surface of the green and here I come running up the hill just to find out that uh, I've flown the green and put it in the other bunker managed to have a really solid out from this greenside bunker here pretty much put it to just tap in range here Hole 12 is a bit of a strange layout. The preferred play is to lay up with an iron, kind of where those carts are, because the green is off to the right over those trees. You've got to hit over a creek. I chose to go with a two hybrid here and absolutely smoked it and it ran all the way through and ended up in this bunker you see here. And you can see where the flag is. I had no chance at the flag, so I'm just hacking it out, trying to get it on the other side of the creek left myself with a decent little ways in and absolutely flew the green with this. In fact, you can't even see my fourth shot. But somehow I managed to make this long oh, bogey nice putt. putt. Salvage the hole. Hole 13 is a slight dog leg left with a big lake down the left hand side. So you don't want to go too far left. I did hit a good drive down here. And got a good approach into this green. It is a two-tiered green, and I just happen to get it on the wrong level and leave myself the really lengthy downhill putt, and this ball just gets away from me. Let myself about 10 feet back up the hill. Give it a good run, but slides by on the left-hand side. I'm able to tap it in for bogey. All right, hole 14. Signature par 3 here at Eagle Vines. My impression so far of this golf course. It's a really pretty course. You can tell summer, and the drought's taking its toll. There's some rough tee boxes and some rough patches in the fairway here and there. But for the most part, the greens have been good shape. They're running a little slow, a little slower than I'm used to. But it's been beautiful out here. Pace of play is painfully slow right now. There's uh, four groups waiting on this tee box right here. Well, there was. It's a really pretty course. I would, I would recommend playing it. Uh, just maybe on a weekday. Maybe not a weekend when everybody's out here playing the wrong tee boxes. I mean, I'm playing whites today and I'm playing terrible, so there's that. This is what this course is famous for, this par three here. Big Island Green, and uh, up here from the top of the tee box, you can see a lot of this golf course. Really is a pretty golf course. Just needs some work done here and there. This cool little pond crosses over to the tips here. Never seen that. Never seen a tea box surrounded by water. This green is actually a lot bigger than it looks like from up on the tee, but you do have trouble everywhere. Left, long, right, and I'm just hitting a 7 iron here as you see and push one out a little bit to the right, but I do catch a piece of the green. Kind of left myself with an awkward putt here, kind of really needed to put it through the fringe and just missed that line and slides on by about four, four and a half feet from par, but I'm able to convert. All right, part of the signature hole out here at Eagle Vines. That was a long two putt, I'll take it. It's a beautiful little pond out here. Wish I had time to fish it. This is quite the hole. Tea box is a little bit behind me. You gotta carry all of this down into the fairway, and it looks like everything in the fairway is gonna hit hard and bounce to the left as it's all sloped that way. This looks like it's gonna be a challenging hole. Green's way out there in the distance, way out there. I did try to favor the right hand side here because of all that right to left slope and managed to put one right into the fairway bunker. The green is kind of 
well below where I'm at right here. I'm just trying to punch one out of this fairway bunker. End up hitting a little low bullet that ends up short and right of the green. And this chip just runs on past the flag a little bit. And uh thought I had this putt for par, but the lip got me again. Sixteen is a downhill par three. There is trouble to the left with a pond. You don't want to go left. I pure this seven iron and end up going all the way through to the back side of the green, just in the fringe. From there I've got a wedge in my hand. It's not what I expect from myself with a wedge. I was terrible. Unfortunately I'm not able to convert the par, so tapping in for a bogey. Moving on to hole 17. Stepping up to the tee at number 17 and top one right off the tee. Hey, but it does manage to find the fairway. This is technically a fairway hit. From here I'm just hitting a three wood. Still a long way out. Expecting it to fade and it doesn't fade. I do come up short of the trees here and just punching with a little eight iron trying to get it to run up onto the green. I do catch a piece of the right side and lengthy par putt for a second. Thought I had one. Do it. Do it. But like the saying goes, you miss a hundred percent of the putts, you don't get to the hole. I hit a good tee shot here on 18. The problem is played a little bit of a draw, ended up more left. I want to go right because what ended up happening is left myself with a much longer second shot. I was expecting a little bit of a fade there and it stayed left right where I was aimed. I got lucky though, clipped a limb, fell straight down, so I'm just short of the green there. Get up and down for par, end on a par. Got a little bit of a scruffy lie here, but make clean contact and put this chip to just tap in range to end my round with a par. All right, that's gonna do it for course number eight, my 12 and 12 series uh, out here at Eagle Vines. Um, just terrible round for me. Just not what, not what I wanna be shooting. Ended up shooting in 88, I believe. But overall, I, I did enjoy the course. The course, uh, it's got some interesting holes, interesting layouts, um, but it's, I mean, the scenery is beautiful out here. The greens are pretty good. There wasn't a whole lot of rough. Uh, it's pretty forgiving unless you get into the water, water hazards on a few of the holes, but for the most part, it's pretty wide open. It's hard to lose a ball. The fairways were pretty firm, um, pretty dried out. It's middle of August here, so it's to be expected. The drought we're having here in California. Bunkers were in fairly good shape. I played out of a couple of them and uh, had some decent sand in them. Some of the tee boxes were in really bad shape. That's uh, one area that they really need to improve. Um, for the most part though, I enjoyed the course. I'd come back again. I do want to play Chardonnay, which is next door. Again, I've been there before and enjoyed that one as well. Um, maybe, maybe springtime would be a good time to play this course when things are a little bit more green and a little bit more lush, but I enjoyed it. The weather was warm, a little bit of a breeze coming in now, but overall, uh, I'd give it probably six out of 10 overall course. Uh, again, though, I'd play it again. I enjoyed it, hope you did too. Hit that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me some comments. Let me know if you've ever played this course and what your thoughts are on it. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on number nine. Thank you.